Hello fit and healthy friends and welcome to my channel. I am Holly Every Newell Fitness and Nutrition Coaching and I thought that I would share my training for a half marathon journey with you all. If you're someone who maybe is going to be training for a race, if you haven't been here before, I'm a registered dietitian, a certified holistic nutritionist, and a certified personal trainer. And I typically post about general health and weight loss tips, wellness, nutrition, but in my personal life, I also compete in triathlons and I do quite a few running races as well. But I thought I would share this time with you because actually I'm in my master's program for nutritional science and I'm doing all of my research on running, on irritable bowel syndrome, on GI issues and how it's related to running and endurance athletes. So I will be sharing more of that as we go on this journey. But for today, all I'm really gonna share with you is about kind of what my training plan looks like in case you're thinking of training for a half marathon or wondering what a training plan looks like. So I'm a big believer that there is no one size fits all approach to practically anything, but especially our bodies. So your health choices, diet, exercise, running, all of that has to work for you, has to fit your lifestyle, has to be things that you enjoy. So I will share with you what I'm doing. This may not work for everyone, but might be something that you can take some little tidbits from. So in general, when training for a half marathon, you're probably gonna need anywhere from like two to four months of training, potentially depending on your fitness level, how much you've already been running, if this is your first half marathon, if you've done a few of them or you've done a bunch of 10Ks, so I'm starting from a place where I was already consistently running five to six miles every weekend. So I don't have to build up like one mile and then two miles and then three miles. I've been running six miles for a while. So starting in November, I decided to do this half marathon and I've basically been going from six miles and increasing almost every weekend. It's mid-December. My race is end of February. So I have plenty of time. I'm kind of ahead of the curve. So what I'm going to be doing is building up my mileage and then kind of using the spare time to work on my speed a little bit more, continue kind of building mileage, but at a very easy pace. So it's not overly taxing on my body that allows me to build up a better pace so I can have a better time at the race and place a little bit better. Now, even though I like to run, I don't actually love to run. <laughs> Some runners love to run. I just kind of like it. Um, so for me, I don't, I'm not doing a schedule where I'm running every day or every other day. That is just too much for me. I don't want to run that much. I also have to bike, swim, and do weightlifting. So there's a lot taking up my schedule. I'm not just focused on running. So I generally run about two to three days a week. Pretty simple. It's basically as minimal as I can. Um, so I have one long run during the weekend. So I started at six miles, went to seven miles, eight miles, took a break, went back to five miles, then in nine miles, took another break, <laughs> because again, I have plenty of time to build up, did 10 miles, and then again, I'll probably do another break, go 11 miles, 12 miles, maybe take another break, just to be building up mileage, but without overdoing it on my body. Then during the week, what I have is more of a speed focused workout. So this is where I will usually either go to a track or use my treadmill where I can just set a pace and stick with it. And this will be shorter. So this will probably be about half the distance of whatever I'm running that weekend. So for instance, if I'm running eight miles that weekend, then maybe my run during the week is four miles and kind of building up over time. So that speed workout is more focused on intervals where it's shorter distance, it's shorter intervals, but I'm going at a much faster pace than I'm going on the weekends. So on the weekends, those long runs, that's when you wanna do your slow, easy mileage. The interval runs, that's when you wanna work on speed. So in terms of heart rate, if you're tracking heart rate, you're probably gonna be more in like zone four, zone five, whereas your long runs, you wanna keep it in zone two. So these are much higher intensity, and that's why you wanna keep them shorter. So that's where I focus on working on speed and going at at least the pace that I want to run during the marathon, if not much faster than that. So often I might be doing intervals at probably a minute, minute and a half per mile pace faster than I actually think that I'll run in the half marathon in order to build up that speed over time. So those are kind of like the two most important workouts. Then usually the third workout will either be a tempo run. 
So that's sort of like a round race pace for, again, not the full distance, a shorter distance, or depending on how I'm feeling, I will do maybe just a mile or two, maybe just something really easy. Um, running can be a bit taxing on my body, probably more so than some people, so I don't like to overdo it. So sometimes that run is just a really easy one mile. It might be a kind of hard one mile. It might be two miles, three miles, but usually that third run is pretty short also. It's probably gonna be shorter than whatever I did in my other two runs. And then there might be weeks if you're a woman, for instance, leading up to your period or when you start your period, that might be the time to kind of back off a little bit so that you can let your body kind of recover. Um, or if you need to recover, you can just sort of take it a little bit easier. Even if it's a longer run, just go really chill and easy. Maybe take some walk breaks, allow your body to get the rest that it needs when your hormones are a little bit out of whack. So that's kind of a basic gist of what I do, of what I will be doing moving forward. So if you guys would like to know specific things, um, pacing, intervals, food, I'm going to be talking more about diet because diet is essential both for training and for racing. So eating in a way that supports what you're doing, but also in a way that prevents GI issues. If you have questions regarding nutrition, regarding anything about basic half marathon training, please post them in the comments below so that I know what to make more of these videos about and they will be helpful and useful to you. So thanks for watching. Hope these little tidbits were helpful. And again, let me know what you want to see so that I can make better videos in the future. So thanks for watching and blessings on your running health and fitness journeys.